Hello, in this video I'm going to go over how to set up our SSS um, or subsurface scattering. So if I go over here, this is what subsurface scattering is, is when light goes through your object and bounces around and then the internal um, built, uh, whatever it's built of kind of bleeds through. Um, you see that with like light hitting the skin, um, you'll see that like for instance like this where the light is being tinted on the ear through because there's blood inside the ear um, and you'll see this not just in organic stuff um, you'll see it in certain stones like this like that um, and you'll also see it in like fruit and vegetables and that kind of thing and it's really important for characters because you want them to feel more organic and alive um, okay so I have my guy here I did some textures on him um, he doesn't have any kind of surface on him so what I'll want to do is add a fill layer on top and I'll just name this sub SSS for subsurface scattering and um, I'm just going to turn off the color, the height, the rough, pretty much everything. Um, and then I'm going to go over to the texture set settings next to the layers. And in here, you'll see on top is all the channels that we have. Um, I'm going to hit the plus button. And then I'm going to go over and set the, um, I'm going to turn on scattering. So now I have scattering. So if I go back to layers here and go up and click on scattering to be on here. And it's at zero by default. I can set this to one. And mine turned on because I was playing around with this. Um, you'll see now everything looks a little bit glowy, especially the thinner the character gets, the more glowy the character should be um, this probably won't look like what yours so don't worry about it let's um, I'll show you how to get there so if I go over to shader settings um, you have to go down set your specular quality up to like very high or something like that this will make things slower um, and then you have to go down here so by default this should be off the subsurface scattering parameters you need to click that on and set the scattering type to skin and then scale to 0.5 and then this is the color that is going to be bleeding through so if I set this to like a yellow you'll see it's kind of that's the color that's bleeding through if I want to do like more of a blue um, usually a red is good um, and then the scale is if you have a very, um, this will increase the intensity of it, but also is used for things that are, it's supposed to relate to the size of your character. So I usually just keep this at 0.5 for now. Should be good. All right. Um, and you can turn it off and on here. So now um, you don't want subsurface scattering consistently on everything usually. You want it to appear and disappear um, depending on the thickness of your character. And the cool thing about that is that we have, we generate a thickness map in our mesh maps. So we can plug that in. So let's see how that works. So I'm going to right click and say add black mask. Click on that and add a fill. And in the grayscale, just search um, thickness. And then you have to find the correct one. So you should notice which one is the UVs of your character. So if I click on that that should affect this. And now the, you'll see more subsurface happening in the thinner areas. 
than the um, areas that are like a little bit thicker. Um, and then you can also adjust this by adding like a paint layer if you're like it's not quite looking right. You can add a paint layer, you can add a levels to crunch it up more if it's like not quite getting to the level detail that you want. So you can play around with that. Um, but this guy, generally if you're doing like a human character, you wouldn't want him to be gooey. But I kind of like that he's kind of like very subsurfacey, so it kind of works. Um, yeah, and I'll see you in the next video.